Do you know even the cleanest houses are not 100% germ-free? We understand, keeping your home spotless and germ-free can be a challenge, and no matter how hard you work to keep your house clean, germs do exist in some parts of the house. They can enter through many means like people, pets, food, air, and even water. A completely clean and hygienic home can reduce your trips to the doctor in the long run. A healthy house is about more than cleanliness. Hygiene. In today's video, we'll tell you about the best ways to keep your house germ-free. From keeping cleaning equipment clean, to changing your clothes, to sanitizing your cell phone, to cleaning your kitchen, fabrics, and more. Watch until the end to find out all of them. Number one, use disinfectants. When you want to get rid of dirt, soap and water will do the trick. However, when you want to get rid of germs, you're going to need something with a little more power. That's where disinfectants and sanitizers come into play. These types of cleaning products are used to kill viruses and bacteria. Keep in mind that disinfectants need time to work. Sometimes they need a few seconds and sometimes a few minutes. Read the directions to ensure that you're getting the maximum benefit. Number two, keep your hands clean at all times. One thing you must make a habit is to keep your hands clean. It's one of the best ways to prevent germs from spreading in your house. For instance, your toilet is one of the high risk places where the probability of germs is more. The germs there won't enter other parts of your house by themselves. It's you or other people that transfer them through hands. So washing your hands is one of the best way to keep germs at bay. Use a liquid soap, preferably an antiseptic. Wash your hands thoroughly at least 20 seconds and dry them properly. Keep alcohol hand rubs or sanitizers handy and use them when you're running short on time. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Number three, keep your cleaning equipment clean. Cleaning equipment such as cloths, towels, mops, and sponges can also easily spread germs. When not maintained properly, they become the breeding places for germs, so make sure they're clean and dry. Also, have separate cleaning equipment for kitchen and bathrooms. When someone in your family is suffering from an infectious disease, it's better to use disposable cleaning equipment. Make sure that you wash your mops, cloths, towels, and sponges with warm water in the washing machine after every use. Mops and cloths made of microfiber last a long time and are good for cleaning. Number four, focus more on surfaces and floors. Floors can be one of the dirtiest places in your house. As you move from one room to another, the germs may spread through your feet. Also, they're likely to bring outside germs indoors. So it's important to clean the floors and carpets every day. Use a vacuum cleaner to clean the carpets and other surfaces. Make sure the filters are clean and change them regularly. Apart from the floor, you should also clean the most frequently touched surfaces like remote controls, keyboards, switchboards, door handles, fridge handles, and taps. Number five, always have tissues handy. Having tissues readily available is a simple way to germ-proof your home. Long gone are the days when grandma used to carry a hanky, but the principal idea is still there. Cover your face when you cough or sneeze. Putting out tissues around the house encourages better hygiene and more face covering. Be sure to always have a wastebasket nearby. It defeats the purpose if tissues are left around the house wadded up, germy, and used. Number six, sanitize your cell phone. Don't forget to sanitize your cell phone frequently. Research shows that cell phones are 10 times dirtier than a toilet seat. And let's face it, we use our cell phones everywhere. When you're out and about, there's no telling how many germs land on your phone. In fact, most cell phones are contaminated with MRSA, E. coli, and strep germs. Wipe your phones often with antiviral or alcohol-based wipes and sprays to keep them as germ-free as possible. Number seven, clean up your kitchen. Almost every kitchen on the planet has some sort of germs in it. From raw meats to dirty dishes, the kitchen is a breeding ground for pests and germs, unless you're already cleaning it rigorously. Cleaning a kitchen, however, is more than wiping it down every week. Consider every surface that touches bacteria. Your countertops, for example, can easily become sponges for raw meat juices from your cutting board or carry a layer of grime from dirty dishes. Luckily, this is an easy fix. Simply wash your counters every day with soap, water, and possibly an antibacterial cleaner such as bleach, ammonia, or antibacterial wipes. Your kitchen sink is another area of the house that needs sanitation. First, make sure you're wiping down your sink every couple of days at minimum. A bleach solution washed around the edges and rinsed down the drain is a great way to disinfect quickly and easily. Your dish sponge is probably germy itself. One common trick for disinfecting a kitchen sponge is to fill it with soapy water and put it in the microwave for a few minutes. Just don't put a dry sponge in the microwave, that's a fire hazard waiting. Number eight, 
change your clothes. You come in contact with lesions of bacteria, fungi, and viruses while out in public. They're hard to avoid. And if you take public transportation, work in schools or hospitals, or have young children, your clothing can serve as the perfect means for transportation of germs and bacteria that cause sickness. Before you exhaustingly plop on the couch after a long day, consider changing into fresh and clean clothing to avoid further welcoming germs into your home. It's unnecessary to create more laundry if you run out for 10 minutes for a quick errand, but after an extended time spent in public, it won't hurt to strip off these dirty clothes in exchange for some clean ones. It's also important to change the clothes of school-aged children who often fail at proper hand washing and cough hygiene. Number 9. Clean up your bedroom. Between plush pillows, fluffy blankets, sheets, and flowing drapery, your bedroom isn't only a cozy haven for its human occupants, it's also a great place for germs and allergens to make themselves at home. That's why you should regularly change the sheets and wash them in warm or hot water in the washing machine. Your changing table should be cleaned every few days with a mild detergent and water. For those times when soap and water just won't cut it, step up to disinfecting by wiping surfaces of the changing table with a disinfecting wipe. Number 10. Use heat to sanitize fabrics. If you haven't already, get your sofa, carpets, and car steam cleaned, especially if they've seen plenty of traffic from people being in your house. The steaming helps you deodorize and sanitize these surfaces without having to use chemicals. Similarly, if you have hand or kitchen towels that are used frequently by several people, do a very hot wash for them at least once a week to get rid of microbes that thrive on damp surfaces. Number 11, leave your shoes by the door. Shoes don't just carry dirt into your homes, they also have the potential to introduce germs. For this reason, it's best to make your home a shoe-free zone and clean hard floors regularly. Start by vacuuming or sweeping hard floors to get rid of the loose dirt, then mop with a warm solution of disinfectant. Take care not to overwet laminate surfaces as this could cause it to warp. Number 12, declutter. One of the best ways to keep your home germ-free is by not unnecessarily overstuffing your home. Well, two congested places are prone to germs and pests where they find it easier to hide. Moreover, too many items spread here and there'll be an increase in your cleaning load. First, you'll have difficulty removing or moving things to clean the spaces properly. You'll also have to take the pain of keeping those individual things clean. So, a spacious home, having only the necessary things and a few decorative items is preferable, as it can be easily cleaned and kept germ-free. Number 13. Scrub and disinfect your trash cans. It's no secret that our dustbins are filled with germs, especially the one in the kitchen. Make sure that you take out the trash at the end of the day, rather than keeping it in overnight. Before putting in a new garbage bag, remove any lingering food particles and gunk, then give the dustbin a wipe using a disinfectant spray and paper towels. Once a week, you should bring your dustbins out for a thorough wash and disinfection. How often do you clean your house? Is disinfecting a part of your cleaning routine? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.